Hi, in this problem we're going to solve this differential equation. So we have x squared plus 3y squared dx minus 2xy dy. So this differential equation is called homogeneous and that's because these powers are the same. So here you have a 2, here you have a 2, and then here you have a 1 and a 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So we say that this function here is homogeneous of degree 2. We say that this function here is homogeneous of degree 2. Again, whenever these exponents match, 2, 2, so the whole thing is degree 2. 1 plus 1 is 2, so the whole thing is degree 2. Whenever they're both homogeneous of the same degree, we say it's a homogeneous differential equation. That's just a quick way uh, to determine homogeneous. There's a more formal way, but this always works. So now we have to make a substitution. So there's two substitutions we can make. We can either let x equal vy or we can let y equal ux and typically what you want to do is you want to pick the one that is simpler so if you let x equal vy you have to compute dx but this is pretty complicated compared to this right this is one term and this is two terms so you want to pick the simpler one so we're going to pick this one so this is our substitution very good and now we're going to compute dy and we're simply just going to apply the product rule. We're differentiating here. So just from memory, this is u dx plus x du. And you can verify it. It's just the product rule for differentiation. All right, so now we carefully make the substitution into our de. So again, we're using this one here. In fact, I'm going to cross this out just to avoid any confusion. So x is simply x, OK? So we have parentheses x squared plus, and then 3, and then y is ux, but the whole thing is squared, so this will be ux, quantity squared, parentheses, and then dx. Okay, then minus 2, we have our 2, x is just x, and again y is equal to ux, so this is ux, and then dy is this piece here, so this is parentheses, and we just replace the dy with all of this. This will be u dx plus x du. And you should be really, really careful when you're doing these problems. Um, it's really easy to mess up. For example, if you just multiply wrong and you add the exponents wrong, game over, right? The whole thing will be wrong. So very easy to mess up in these problems. So it's always good to go a little bit slow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. So we have x squared times dx. So that will be x squared dx. Very nice. This here will be 3 u squared x squared because this is being squared and so you square each of the factors. So plus 3 u squared x squared and then we have the dx. Very nice. Here we have some multiplication to do so let's be very very careful. Let's do this times this. This will be minus 2 x squared and then it'll be u squared dx. So it'll be minus 2. If x times x, that's x squared. u times u, that's u squared. And then you have the dx. It's a little bit confusing, right? So again, x and x, that gives us the x squared. u and u, that gives us the u squared. The 2 and the dx are there, and there's the minus. So all is good. Here it's the same, except we're going to have... Um, an extra x, right? So it'll be minus 2. And let me use a different color here just to make it a little bit easier to see. We've got x, x, x. We have x cubed. And then just simply 1u and then the du. Very beautiful. And that's equal to 0. Beautiful. All right. Does anything cancel or simplify? Let's go ahead and write this one down again. I think nothing happens there. We have 3 u squared x squared dx minus 2 x squared u squared dx. That'll give us 1 u squared x squared dx. So this is plus right, 3 of these minus 2 of these is 1 of those. So it's just 1 times u squared x squared dx. And we don't write the 1 because it's not really necessary. And then minus 2 x cubed u du. And so the idea is that once you make this substitution, this differential equation will become separable, which basically means you can separate the variables. You'll have all the x's on one side with the dx and all the u's on one side with the du. So let's go ahead and start that process by perhaps 
combining these two terms here, we can factor out, rather than factoring out some stuff from these two terms, we can pull out an x squared and a dx as follows. This is x squared, parentheses 1, plus u squared, dx. Typically, you put the dx on the right-hand side. It just dangles there, right? And again, you can check that's correct. It's x squared times 1, dx, boom. x squared times u squared, dx, boom. Everything is perfect. Here, let's take this to the other side and make it positive. This is equal to 2x cubed u du. And now we're here. And again, the goal is to get all the x's on one side with the dx and all the u's on one side with the du. So let's see here. So now we can simply get all the x's over here. So I'm going to divide by x cubed, okay? So it'll be x squared over x cubed. That's going to be 1 over x dx. Again, taking this and just dividing it. So it'll be x squared over x cubed. That's 1 over x dx. Then dividing by the 1 plus u squared, I'm going to leave the 2 here. So we have 2u over 1 plus u squared du. So I didn't really show the work here. And when you start to show the work, it gets really messy. So basically what we're doing is we're, I'll just show some of it. We're dividing by x cubed, dividing by x cubed, okay? And that's going to give us the 1 over x, but then we still have this piece. So then we divide by this, which I guess I can show, 1 plus u squared, whoops, whoops, whoops. 1 plus u squared, 1 plus u squared. See, it gets really messy, but now you can maybe see it perhaps a little bit better. Boom, 1 over x dx. And then uh, boom, boom, 2u, 1 plus u squared. All right, so now what we do is we integrate both sides of this equation with the little integral signs. And this one's going to be ln absolute value of x. This one's going to be a substitution, which is pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll let w equal 1 plus u squared. That's the bottom piece here. So then dw will be uh, the derivative. So the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of u squared is 2u du. So this piece here is your dw. So this is the integral of 1 over x dx. And that's equal to simply dw, right, dw over w, very nice, very, very nice. And then now we integrate. So this is going to give us the natural log of the absolute value of x equals the natural log of the absolute value of w plus a constant of integration. I'll call it c tilde because it'll probably change throughout this process. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it c. I just decided to call it something besides c because I feel like it might change. This is the natural log of the absolute value of x equals the natural log. And then w was 1 plus u squared. So uh, you really don't need absolute values, but I'll write them anyways. We'll drop them later. Plus c tilde, because it's positive anyways. And we can do whatever we want. We can pretend stuff is positive at some point if we like, just to get rid of the absolute values. Uh, but we don't have to. So u, what is u? So recall that y is equal to ux. So therefore, u is equal to y over x. In fact, that's an easy way to memorize a substitution. You can substitute y over x, in which case it's u, or x over y, in which case it's v. In fact, the derivation of this process uh, is easier to see if you think of this as the substitution. Perhaps um, I'll make a video on that someday. So here, uh, to get rid of the u, we'll make a substitution. So this is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus, and then u is y over x. So this is y over x, quantity squared, plus c tilde. Good stuff. All right, so we could stop here. We could keep going. Um, it's really um, up to you what to do here. Uh, I think what I will do is I will simply exponentiate both sides. So this is just going to be the absolute value of x. This is going to be e to the ln absolute value 1 plus y over x squared absolute value times e to the c tilde. This is something that a lot of people have a hard time with. Um, it's being multiplied here. Remember, when you multiply things and the bases are the same, you add the exponents. So very, very key. So this is the absolute value of x equals these cancel. I'm going to put the e to the c tilde in the front. 
absolute value, one plus y over x squared. And we can drop the absolute values on both sides. We'll get a plus or minus. So x is equal to plus or minus e to the c tilde, parentheses, one plus y over x quantity squared. Very nice, very, very nice. And let's go ahead and give this beautiful creature a name. Let's call it C. So we have C times. Here we can do some math. Uh, we can write this as, I really want to skip some steps, but I'll show you them over here. You can write this as you have one plus y over x squared. You can write that as x squared over x squared plus y over x squared. And you can write that as x squared plus y over x squared. So eventually you can do this in your head. And so now we can write this as x squared, that's a y squared, that's a typo, or rather a mistake. x squared plus y squared over x squared. And then we can multiply by x squared. We get a very, very pretty answer. We simply get x cubed equals, boom, these go away, c parentheses x squared plus y squared. And that would be the solution to the differential equation, right, which was given. So kind of a nicer solution. x cubed is equal to some constant times uh, x squared plus y squared. Much prettier uh, than what we had uh, up here, I think, uh, up here. So you could have stopped perhaps, um, you know, here, just replace the u with the y over x and you'd probably stop right here. That would be good. And then just call it c instead of c tilde just so it looks a little bit uh, a little bit better. But yeah, that's an example of a homogeneous differential equation. Now, um, the term homo homogeneous is not to be confused with um, the other homogeneous. So later on, uh, whenever you study uh, linear differential equations of higher order with constant coefficients, uh, when those are equal to zero, you call those homogeneous. This is a different type of homogeneous. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video has uh, been helpful to someone. Good luck.